Hey everyone, Rideshare Reseller Mike, and we're in the garage, but we're going to do a little different today. We're going to take it outside and show you a couple of things that I picked up today. We're going to show you um, a couple of really nice licks and how I got them and uh, just how it unfolded. And then I'm going to try and show you what I sold. So uh, last night, about seven items, I believe, in that range. We're going to go over some of that. And we're going to discuss a little bit now about my theory of what's happening out there uh, thrifting, at least in my area, in the Bay Area. Right now, I feel that Goodwill is really skimming all of the cream off the top. They really are. They're really um, focusing on the good stuff and pulling it so that they can put it on their e-commerce site. So their stores inside are kind of sucking wind a little bit as far as thrifting goes. And uh, as everybody else, you kind of learn to adapt. And right now I'm adapting and really, really doing well off of Nextdoor, which is the local app. And it's amazing what I'm finding. I'm going to show you out here uh, what I just picked up. And it's in pretty incredible stuff. And also uh, using my local flea market uh, that is open five days a week. But I really only go once a week, and that's on Thursday. We're going to take a look at something that I found there. I found only this item there. I found some quantity of this item and where I'm going to sell it and for how much we're going to sell it. So we're going to go take a look at the car, <laughs> look at the mess of the car. And then we're also going to take a look at hopefully some of the items that I sold uh, and that I have to ship. It's been crazy. It's midday. It's been every day. It seems like in California right now is hovering around 90 degrees. So it's it's hot. The garage has no air conditioning, and it's it's a lot of fun. But let's go out and take a look and see what uh, what I got. All right, see you in a minute. All right, everybody, we've moved outside to my car. You're going to see my car is a Ford C-Max. It's a small car. These cars are amazing. Get about 41 miles a gallon, which I really like. And it can hold quite a bit of stuff. And we're going to show you uh, the back of my car. I'm going to show you how I got it packed in here. Then we're going to go down and, and, and we'll break it down and, and uh, show you what each item was and potentially maybe what it's worth. We'll take a peek. All right. So let's go take a look. All right, guys, we're going to show you how packed my car was today. And you're going to see what they are, so to speak. But we'll go over them a little bit more once I get them out and can show you a little bit better video of them. Bose 901 speakers. There are two of them. With the equalizer, you can see my car. And some electronics up front. Oh yeah, you'll see the, uh... all right, this little guy, I will show you right off the bat. This guy right here, that is amazing stuff. And anyhow, long story short, I missed, I should have bought that at Grocery Outlet. They had them for two for 48 cents. And I don't know why I didn't buy them. Long story short, now they are a dollar. I still bought like 23. Those are amazing. Those ocean spray brews, very, very good. There is a Denon turntable, all right? And back here is, again, we'll show you again. There's some Yamaha equipment there. There's the other Bose speaker. A couple of uh, uh, electronic items. All this electronic stuff came from one gentleman, one guy, okay? Let's go around to the other side. Right, today started out with this particular item and what you're seeing there is writ that is some uh, dye we will show you that in the next part of the video and show you where it's going and how much I'm gonna get for it that was what the item I got at the flea market back down there hidden is a golf bag I'm probably gonna try and sell it if not I'm gonna keep it for myself so you can see I managed to jam this car full of stuff so now let's take it out and take a look and see what it's worth. All right, everybody, here is the main item. I'm gonna show you this. This is where it all started at last night. This was the night before. These are Bose 901s. I'm not sure of the series. That is the equalizer. These are either four, five, or six. One of the two. I have to take this pedestals off to uh, double check. It doesn't matter, they're Bose. Anyhow, this ad was up on Nextdoor, 
and the ad was for $25. I will show you the ad. The ad will pop up here so you can see it. In the ad, the equalizer, which is this guy, you kind of really need that guy, was not in the ad. I didn't ask him about it, but today when I went and picked it up, the equalizer was sitting on top of it. Now, I could sell the equalizer by itself for 200 and those two pedestal stands for 200 uh, and, and keep the speakers. There's a, there's a lot of ways to go about this. I haven't decided yet. I might keep the speakers. There is a little damage on this right here, but as a woodworker, I could fix that. And you can kind of see that the uh, um, cloth is very good on these. Yeah, you can take a look. The cloth is pretty darn good on them. And uh, that's what started this whole thing. So I paid $25. And uh, that's, that's the beginning. I'm going to show you some more in a second of how it got better from there, okay? So this was from next door. I'm going to show you the other item because I have it out here, and we'll discuss the other ones inside the garage. All right, this guy here is a golf bag. It is a Sun Mountain golf bag, and the model number was something C something. Just so you guys can kind of get an idea. Uh, it might be on the front. Where is it? Wow, right there, C-130, okay? Nice little golf bag. And this guy, I got it from the Goodwill and $13.39. This guy here, I will either sell or keep. Haven't decided yet. It's kind of a nice cart bag. My bag's getting a little tattered, so I might keep that. If not, I'm gonna sell it. It's probably gonna get me about $150. And I paid $13. All right, let's go take a look at the other stuff. All right, guys, hey, we are now inside the garage. It's just way too hot outside. It's a little cooler here. I got a cross breeze going. As many of you know, uh, I'm a California picker, and I work out of this two-car garage. Warts and all, you kind of can look around. You see this is a different angle. It's just kind of jammed in here. It's part of just the way it is. Uh, I do not want to get a building. Uh, not interested in that kind of aspect of it, so I have to kind of be... A little bit uh, willing to deal with the space issues and, and and I'm not it's not unusual for for others but this is is me so this is where I'm at and we're gonna go over a few things that I got the items and we're gonna show them up close and maybe what they're worth how I got it and um, what my philosophy is now all right so my philosophy's changed a little bit as maybe some of you know and some of you don't used to ride share until about 9 30 10 o'clock let the thrift stores open up then i would start to thrift in the afternoon and then i would package at night well since covid 19 it's a little different now i'm packaging in the morning and doing a little bit of listing and then i hit the road and try to thrift from the stores or i use next door facebook marketplace and so forth i also um basically go to flea markets those kind of things but most of my stuff right now i'm having tremendous tremendous success with a, an app called next door maybe some of you have that in your area and some don't in this area it's uh, silicon valley so there's constantly stuff up on next door i don't have as much luck with facebook marketplace i feel facebook marketplace and craigslist they tend to be a little higher priced, so it's a little trickier. But I have found things on them, just not as much as I have on next door. All right, the first item that we saw was the Bose 901 speakers. I forgot to tell you the value. The value of those are anywhere from five to eight hundred dollars. That's the range. Mine are a little rough in spots, but I have the stands, I have the equalizer, and the speakers. So minimum, it's five hundred dollars. All right. So I could probably sell them for 500 pretty quickly. We'll see. I might keep them. Just don't know. All right. We're going to start with the flea market item. I'm going to show you this. All right. Went out to the flea market today. And the first stop, I always stop at this one vendor. He always seems to every Thursday have a pretty good amount of stuff. And uh, today he, he had this. I'm going to show you what it is. This is what the box looked like. Most of you probably know now what it is. If you look at the box, it's writ and it's dye, right? There it is, 
Rit dye. This one says emerald. All right, so there were eight boxes, 96 individual tubes, or basically bottles, right? Bottles. From there, I did a search on eBay, and I also, since I am an Amazon seller, checked my Amazon, and I got lucky. I can sell them on Amazon. On Amazon, the lowest prime price, I'm going to put it up here. You should be able to see that. The lowest prime price was $13.99. That is where you get the buy box. So, I'm eligible to get the buy box. I will undercut that guy, probably go $13.75, and I will put all 96 of mine up. And if you take a look at the sales rank, look at the sales rank. That one should be up here too. It is like number one in home writ of all things, right? It's really highly ranked. That means that it sells extremely well. So I'm hoping that as soon as it hits Amazon and I ship it off, get it to them, it's going to start selling like this, like really quick. How much did I pay for it? For all eight boxes, I paid $60. I think that comes out to like 62 cents a bottle. $13.99 minus the Amazon fees. You you should be able to see that, I think, in that in that one uh, little uh, drop down. Basically, here's what happens. I net, this is a net, each bottle, $10. So each bottle will net me 10. I have 96 of them. That'll be a net of $960 off my $60 purchase. So that's how you really want to do Amazon. You really got to try to find those kind of finds because that's where the money's at this one-time fee think of amazon i could put these up on ebay one listing 96 items i gotta ship each one amazon i ship all 96 in they ship them any returns they deal with everything once it's in there it's all amazon so it's very simple that's why you can see the power of amazon for an amazon seller all right so that was the find there. I didn't find anything else in the flea market the entire day. Found some things, but nobody wanted to budge much on price. So that's another good tip is, hey, just don't buy to buy. You got to buy if it's going to make you money. And that's the key. Some days you don't get anything. Uh, some days you get one item, but it makes a, a, a good profit. So there you go. So that's that item. All right, let's get back to the Bose 901 and how I got that. So anyhow, I explained to you the night before I answered his ad. He did not answer me, and I thought, okay, it's gone, $25. And on the Nextdoor app, it has a little drop down in the bottom. It tells you interested, number of people. And there was already one interested. So I thought, ah, that guy got it, right, $25. So I didn't stop. I said, hey, I'm interested. Is it still available? He didn't answer me. So I came back, to, back in about 20 minutes later, said, hey, I'm very interested. I thank you for your time. If you sold them, uh, just let me know. And thank you again. So I put a nice little note in there. So this morning I woke up. It's still up there. No answer. So I put a little note. I said, hey, still interested. If you want me to come by, I can come by today. About an hour later, bing. He said, come on by. So I said, sure, I'll take him. $25 for those bows, right? So I get there. And like I said, the equalizer was there. So I really had a smile on my face then. The equalizer was great. And... Uh, I said, hey, got anything else? That's another key to being a good reseller is always ask more questions. And he said, yeah, I want to get rid of a lot of stuff. Uh, he, first, he pointed to a table, and I, I really wasn't interested in the table. And he goes, I got some electronics I need to get rid of. And I said, okay, what, what, what do you got? And so he started off first with a Denon turntable. My ears went, Doop. Denon turntables can be worth some money. So... I had to dig it out because he had a health issue and he couldn't get it. And so I dug it out. It was in the back of the shelf and I, I pulled it down. And I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to show you this Denon right here. Okay. Oh, it's heavy. These older ones can be heavy. The platins are pretty heavy. All right, there it is. It's all dusty. You can see it. I'm going to show you in its raw state. That is the Denon. And the model is a DP51F. You can do your own search, but I'm going to show you up top here what that little boy's worth. I'll put it right up here. That Denon turntable is worth about $400. Yeah, if and that thing, I clean that up, it looks mint. 
And like he said, everything he had, he just put away. He was a military guy. He just had stored it away. So it should work, should be no problem. Even if there was, you could sell it for parts. So I'm going to say $350 to $400 for this item. And I asked him how much he wanted. He said $10. Yep, $10, folks. So I, I, I didn't need to look it up. I knew that it was worth at least $150, $200. I don't know, but I, I knew it was worth something. So I said, I'll take it. So we start to dig around because he's got some other items in the back. Not in the back, but on his shelf. And he had the matching, not matching, but along with his turntable, he had a Yamaha amp. I think this is the amp. I don't know if you pick it up. Yeah, the amp's pretty heavy. All right. There's the amp, a Yamaha amp. It's pretty dusty, so I'll have to clean it up, test it, make sure it works. Haven't really even plugged it in yet. Let me put it down. All right. So I'm going to put that little amp up here. That amp is in good shape and works easy. $300. $300 for that amp. I'm going to tell you what I got these other three items besides the turntable for in a second. Next item. This is a stereo control amplifier. It's missing a couple of buttons. You can see it. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, with missing the buttons will be okay. So let me put it down. Long story short on that guy. If it wasn't missing the buttons, let's say it was perfect condition. 250, 300, easy. Again, I'll put that up here. You can kind of see those up there. That's the uh, controller. And the, the least of them all is this little guy. Very light. This is the tuner, I think. Yeah, this is a tuner. That's a tuner. You can see how dusty it is. It's just sitting up on a sh uh, garage shelf. That may be 50 bucks. That would be probably a $50 item. So let's call the, the speakers. Let's go low. 500. Let's go 350 here. That's 850. Let's go uh, 3 and 2. 1350 and another 50. There's 14. That's easily out of his garage. $1,400. Okay. That should be the minimum I should be able to gather from that. So remember, I said how much for the turntable? He said $10. So as I turned to him, he, I said, how much do you want for the rest of the electronics? And he said, take them away. I don't need them. I don't want them anymore. I need to clear out space in my garage. So I took them. So I got the Bose speakers and all of this electronics for $35. You're going to see, you know, the Nextdoor app was up there. You can see the Nextdoor ad. You should be able to see that, where it started from. Anyhow... That is how it went today. So it's crazy. You don't know. I mean, I'm telling you, I have had the biggest streak of, I don't want to call it luck, but just working hard on Nextdoor and finding so much stuff basically for free. You've seen my videos. And if I do find stuff, I pay not a whole lot for it. And when I do pay a lot for it, I know that it's going to sell pretty quick. So I found this whole new way to thrift with everything being shut down during COVID-19. This is how I worked it. I'm acting and trying to get in between Goodwill and the person who is trying to get rid of their item. So that's the key. You got to get in between Goodwill savers and try and snipe that before it hits Goodwill. Because what Goodwill is going to do with it, Goodwill is going to take it and put it on their e-commerce site. You're never going to see. If these items were donated to the Goodwill, you would never see them on the Goodwill floor. They would go directly to their e-commerce site. So you got to find a way to get to these items before Goodwill, Savers, and other thrift stores get to them. And then you just work from there. So pretty cool, right? All right, we're going to take a look at a few items that I sold, just a few, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back, and we're going to go quickly here to show you uh, six of the items of the nine that I sold don't have a complete dollar total. Um, it's over $300, $400, somewhere. It's about $400 uh, in sales. But we'll quickly go through them because the video is a little long already. And I just wanted to add this on as I don't shoot a whole lot of videos. It's just because I'm so busy with many other things. I try, but it's tough. I'd love to do more and hopefully I will. All right, guys, here we go. Let's start off with, uh, you've seen me sell this before. You've seen, if you've watched my video, 
35 millimeter cameras. Maybe I'll put it up as a card. You're looking for 35 millimeter, millimeter cameras. This is a good one to find if you can find it for the right price. This guy, you got to pick it up for about five bucks. And it's a weatherproof Minolta Dual 35. And this guy sold, I believe, for $39.95 and $9.95 shipping. Most people think they're just old stuff. Two, three, four, five bucks is what you'll get them for. They will sell quickly, especially these waterproof ones. This one used to go for about 20 bucks more. It's taken a little bit of a price hit, this particular one. All right, we're going to pick up something I picked up last night. And it sold this morning. It sold very quickly. And these are... Uh, you ladies will know the brand, I think, Capizio. But what's unique about these, these are tap dancing shoes, and they're brand new. This was from my Honey Hole thrift store. I paid $5 for these shoes. They're not an expensive shoe. I, I thought maybe they were, but they are not. So new is probably the only way to really sell these, unless you get them almost for free. This particular pair of shoes sold for, I think it was $39.95 and $9.95 shipping. But it sold that quick overnight, so $5. You're going to see another item that the same place that sold in a second. Let's get right to that piece. All right. All right. Let's give Kevin a little shot, huh? Commonwealth picker. Hopefully he's watching. There you go, buddy. The Giants. Look at that. Nice, shiny, satin jacket. This is the this is one you want to look for. It's chalk line. This has been worn maybe one time. I swear, this is like brand new. It's a large, and uh, I threw in the pin. There was a little pin that was attached. I left that on there. I got this for five bucks, too, from the Honey Hole Thrift Store. And this sold so quick. This sold last night. It sold for $59.95, $13.95 shipping. Fast sell. There were some on there for $70, $80. I just didn't feel comfortable at that price range. Uh, so... I dropped it down a little bit and it went to a California. So it's going to be, I'm going to make about five bucks on shipping. So 64 would be my, uh, and then minus the fees, the Giants uh, jacket. Nice. Let me hang it back up here. All right, where are we going next? All right, this one, unfortunately I wanted to show you it, but it's, it's, in, it's in the box. I'm going to have to show you the end. What it is, is it's a train controller. Uh, so for the speed control, reverse, all that kind of stuff. I had, I had to see if it fit in a, a padded mailer for shipping for the price on the website. And it did, but I can't, I don't want to take it out. It won't come out. Trust me, it's a train controller, $24.95, and I believe $12.95 on the shipping on that particular item. We got two more left. Let's go to this guy, because I'll show you. This is another next door item, but this is one I paid for. Okay. So this here. These, these are what you got to look at. You really got to look for these. This one is like mint condition. If, if you could see it, it's, I mean, it's perfect. And what it is, is everybody should be able to see it here in a second. A flute. It's a Yamaha 121 flute. And the gentleman was originally asking $60. And I, I kind of remember looking at it at one time. It's that nah, 60 is a little too high. He dropped the price to 40 and the, on the next door ad. And I took it and I said, I'll take that for 40. He also threw in a little metronome worth about 20 bucks. All the cleaning supplies and this nice little soft case. There's a little soft case here, Pro Tech, you can see it. And this is another case where you're not gonna be worried about those low prices. These can go for about 140. So I put this up for 174.95. Oh, no, I put it up for 199.95, wanting to take about 175. And I got a hit at, and, and somebody offered me 150. I came back at 174.95 and they took it. This lasted maybe four days. This was like on there for four days. It was $40 investment for four days, 174.95. Look for instruments, look for flutes. Flutes are really popular. Um, trumpets I think are too, but flutes, there's a lot of flutes out there. This is Yamaha, which is a really, really good brand. All right, last one is also another next door one. I'm going to tell you the story on this one really quick. All right. There was a next door ad up for a Kenwood um, sound design uh, stereo receiver. Free. There was one other item with it. I can't remember what the item was. 
I answered the ad like I did with the Bose 901s. There were already somebody on it. This time that person was there and they took it. But I kept in conversation with the lady and the lady said, hey, I forgot I have two more items. Would you like them? One of the items was a Gerard turntable, which is over here. It's in a box and that was free. And this item was free a Sony DVD recorder. So I got this and the Gerard turntable for free. The other person didn't ask any further or inquire or keep the conversation going and probably didn't ask there if there's more, right? Remember what I said? You have to always ask if there's more. This little guy sold for $159.95 and $34.95 shipping is going to New York, so it's gonna eat up almost all that shipping, uh, probably about 27 of it. And I got $159.95 free, right? Free. And I still have the turntable. The turntable is only worth about 100 bucks. But again, the key here, just like the Bose 901s, keep asking. It ask, do you have anything else you wanna get rid of? You never know when you're gonna stumble into the big deal like I did today like I did on this guy. All right, guys. Hey, keep watching. Tell people. Let's keep it going. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.